Hello there. Today I'm going to be reacting and breaking down Dancing All Night from Persona 4. Boom! Here's another one. That percussion to do the transition was very cool. This is the groove, mate. Come on. That change in the chord progression was really cool. Oh. Oh god. Oh. I just can't. I'm telling you, I just can't contain myself but start moving to the groove of this song. This Persona track is one of the most interesting ones that I've heard so far since it has, you know, the usual suspects in the composition like the funk brought in the drums and the guitar, but also the acid jazz brought with the strings and the piano chords, you know, that always cite Jamiroquai as a big influence, at least for me, when it comes to this kind of music. And at this point, I feel like I've quoted Jamiroquai in each and every one of the songs that I've done from any Persona song ever. However, dance brings way more things to the table in different degrees of involvement that goes from dance pop to, wait for it, tamba. Yeah, that's right. And the tamba element is perhaps one of the most rhythmically crucial layers in the track. I'm telling you, mate, it is insane how much it enriches the song and brings it to a new level. Be it in short duration, though, but that ultimately makes it shine even more because it is, it is a tease. The songwriter gives a little bit and then takes it away so you can crave for more. It is the Latin swagger, mate. The Latin wrist that hooks you in even further. By the way, if you made it this far, thank you so much. So while you're at it, why don't you make that like button dance? That's so cool. Listen to the precaution made so cool. It, ad it adds so much flavor to the already rhythmic nature of the track. Listen to the baseline here. Yeah, 
this is definitely it. I want to dance, mate. These chord progressions in the piano are so good. As the lyric goes, I think it is about a character whose life is drastically changed when meeting another one. And from my scarce knowledge about Persona games, I do know that a lot of the lore of the game is related to the realm of the mind. Maybe this song speaks about mental health in a way. The song is like a confession towards that other person. And it will seem that the main character in the song was basically going through life dependent you know on massive doses of instant gratification you know like junk food uh, watching shows uh, being hooked on the internet all day that kind of stuff and of course the song puts this kind of lifestyle as a detriment to your life but this changes dramatically when another person comes in and you know revolutionizes your life as per is a change but since this is persona i don't know if this is a real person or an alter ego inside this character's mind wherever it may be the case we can see there's a profound sense of gratitude which is great but sometimes there's cues in certain words like profound devotion where it seems this character stopped doing something bad for their mental health only to substitute it with infatuation and practically seeing someone as their savior which at the end can cause a mind fuck down the road too hey if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and check this other persona reaction that i did all right i'll see you there